guys. I just finished scouting here. This spot, I came up to see, um, yeah, just if the aspen trees were golden. And it turns out I've just about missed it. So if you look behind me here, um, yeah, the leaves have fallen off most of the trees. And there's just one little patch in the background back there. And uh, they are on there enough. Um, we're not actually filming for a couple more days. So I don't quite know how fast the leaves fall off. I kind of laid in a hammock for a little bit between two of the trees back there. And as the wind blew, I just kind of tried to pay attention to uh, how many leaves I saw coming off the trees <laughs> with each gust. <laughs> it wasn't too many, actually, it wasn't too many. So, I don't know, it's just like if I'm back here in less than 48 hours, Hold on, I'm talking to you guys and getting lost. Okay, here's the path. <laughs> yeah, so I think they might be there. I don't really want to drive it. This is about an hour from my house, so I don't really want to drive all the way up here with the girls in a couple days only to find that, uh, you know, they're all bare. <laughs> That'd be kind of a bummer. out here today there's no one around really quiet and um, I also closed my eyes and tried to take a little cat nap and it felt so restorative I feel like as I walk back now I just feel so relaxed and uh, just at rest which is good morning to everybody how's the weather Cold. Okay, they said it. It's cold. <laughs> so we are not in Kansas summer anymore. <laughs> uh, we are gonna get all of our stuff together and see if that little stand that I showed you guys the other day is, still has leaves or not. Oh yeah, a little, a little spot of sun. We're all good guys. All right. Good morning. I have my face on <laughs> today, as my mom used to say. She probably still says it. <laughs> oh, yeah, we will find out. Um, you know, so far I can see in the distance, it's not too bad. It looks like there has been some leaf droppage, but I do still see some yellow. So hopefully, hopefully this will work out for today. decide which workout we're gonna do here first so I have a few different options um, I usually try to base it on like the terrain that we're on thankfully we are in a pretty flat spot so really anything will work pretty well here Olivia is working on framing Katie is having fun over here <laughs> stability ball <laughs> Did you know we also do landscaping? <laughs> so there are some dead, um, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's just naturally really beautiful out here, but we do do a little bit of site prep. <laughs> Sometimes because a bunch of old dead weeds or flowers don't really look the best in the video camera. So that's also just a little bit, just a little enhancement.
first workout. Now we're trying to figure out a second uh, framing. It is so cold out here, you guys. literally catching the last of these. I think like half of them have already disappeared in the last two hours <laughs> from all the wind. Let's see how it's looking. Um, but if you could scoot yourself back a smidge. Er, oops, scoot back, he says? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's good then. Okay. Okay, so you just double check it so it'll be like, like this. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah? Yeah, I can see. Um, there's like a really tall weed by your knee. Beautiful, thank you. Away from the cool bush. It'll, it'll be like this. You want me to face the other way? Yeah. Okay. Like. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. Should I be right here or farther? Oh, can you actually come a little bit closer to the camera? Yeah. That's perfect. Okay. Whew. This is warmer, actually. Really? In. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Do you feel that little sprinkle? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna get it. We're gonna do this. Okay, tell me where she have her, you know, you're yeah, out of just frame. Out of frame. Okay. of our second workout, it was hailing. Um, although I gotta say, hail is better than rain. Um, I gotta make sure I go the right way because it's all swampy to my left. I don't wanna walk through the mud because I got distracted talking to you guys. Uh, yeah, but anyway, as cold as it is and as haily as it is, um, you know, it's better than rain, you know? You know, that way all our stuff didn't get wet. I didn't get all wet. My hair, I didn't have that like wet dog look. <laughs> and so, yeah, we got through it and it was good. Um, it's just so funny to me how like, you know, just 48 hours ago when I was here, I don't know if you saw, but it was like this nice blue sky. light chill in the air but it was pretty darn pleasant <laughs> and I just it's kind of humorous to me it's just really ironic this just happens like over and over when I go scout a location usually something about it is just really ideal maybe yeah maybe it's the weather maybe there's a blue sky with puffy clouds maybe there's nobody there. 
it's nice and empty for filming. But inevitably, when I come back to film, usually not too much long later, somehow that ideal setting is gone. Like the spot that was like totally had no people in it, all of a sudden we would come back to film, there's like people milling around, you know? Or yeah, or like today here, it's like freezing people's butts off and, and hailing. <laughs> oh, it's just, it, it makes me, it's just, it's funny. It's funny. So anyway, I think, you know what it, not that I haven't already known this for a long time, really, but I guess it just continues to teach me um, to, you know, you just, you keep working through discomfort up to a point, right? I'm not one of those people who believes in like, you know, I'm not like hardcore, just go till you die or like, <laughs> or that thing that says, have you seen those licensed um, stickers, bumper stickers that are like, yeah, but did you die? <laughs> have you seen those? That's not my life motto. Not anymore. Maybe when I was like 20, it probably kind of was, but I have to live a more moderate lifestyle now. <laughs> um, Cause that whole like living my life just below or just above death level, should I say, is it's pretty miserable. I don't know what you guys think. Um, anyway, this work that I'm doing, even though it can get pretty uncomfortable, whether that be because it's cold or wet or super hot, or there's people around and I feel kind of self-conscious and like, okay, especially like that time a few weeks ago, we were on the edge of this like beautiful outlook and I was filming the warm up and the cool down, which involves like playing music on a Bluetooth speaker and like four motorcycle guys pull up and like they don't guys aren't like where am I there I am <laughs> guys aren't like oh there's people here maybe we'll continue on to another spot that doesn't have people and give them some privacy nah they just still pull up they like go stand 20 feet away like taking pictures, looking at the overlook, not of us, but like, you know, at the scene that we're at, as if we're not there. And I'm like still like literally, practically, basically dancing to music next to these guys. This is so embarrassing and I just got to keep going, you know, cause like I'm, I want to make this, I need to make this for my, me and my family, for you guys, but it's awkward. So I am continuing to learn to do that in order to, yeah, achieve the things I want to do. So, all right, I'm almost back to the truck. And so did you see in my last vlog, I showed you my favorite snack, which is, uh, well, it was frozen mango, right? All summer. Oh, lovely, wonderful snack for the end of our workout because it's been a hot day. But given that I've been in like, I don't know, if I were to guess how many degrees it is right now, I would say it's like 40, 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, yeah, frozen fruit not not sounding too appetizing right now so I'm gonna have to come up with a new winter time post filming treat I'll let you know what I come up with for now it'll have to do I'll just crank up the, <laughs> the truck heater to compensate I guess all right talk to you guys soon uh oh you guys I just got home from an hour drive back. And you see this loose end of this cord? Well, it's supposed to attach. Do you see how I've got some Velcro down here? This is supposed to have a piece like this on it. 
And this, this, this isn't the one, this is empty. This is what has all of my nature footage that I took today. But when I got home, it wasn't there. <laughs> so, do you know what that means? Yep, I gotta drive back up the hill and uh, back to where I just was <laughs> and see if I can find that card. It's got all my B-roll, all my nature footage on it. Man, being the B-roll mishaps, I, I don't know what that's all about. I don't know if this is a mishap or not. Um, I always ask myself when these things happen, like, if, if, is there any way if I had been paying more attention that this wouldn't have happened? But, I don't know. The truth is, I'm, I'm doing my best and sometimes things just happen, so. Um, thankfully, we actually did finish a little early today, so I do have enough daylight left that even though I need to, you know, drive an hour back up, um, I think I'll have enough daylight. I don't know if I'll find it, because, you know, I walked about, a quarter to a half a mile. I don't know where along that little traipsing I did it fell and it's not like I was on a trail either. I was kind of just, half of it was just walking across like a meadow. So I mean, yeah, I'm hoping that maybe it fell off close to the truck when I got in. That would be really nice because then I think I could, you know, find it pretty quickly. Also it's black, which, um, you know, not the most visible thing in the world. I always try to get stuff that's uh, like with our electronic and like, you know, important things that we don't want to lose that are also kind of small. I always try to get things in like a really vivid color if I can, but a lot of times they don't have that, you know, but for our purposes anyway, like when we're out in the wilderness, it's so much easier to see something that's like electric blue or electric orange, you know, so that we don't end up accidentally leaving it there. Like our Bluetooth speaker, same thing but it's black, so it just kind of just, it's this little thing and we stick it in the bushes so you can't see it while we're filming and then, you know, so far we've remembered and I do have extras of pretty much everything with us just in case, you know? Um, but yeah, this little thing is worth two or 300 bucks too and, and honestly more, it's just about the labor and the, you know, the work I put into recording the footage onto it. I don't want to have to redo that and come back again another day. So we'll see if I can find it. I did decide to just take a little shower at least and kind of warm up my bones. I'm here you guys. It is raining outside now. No more hail, actual rain. So I'm just gonna bundle up a little bit here and we will see what we find. First place to look is right where the truck was parked and I'm looking at the ground and I don't see a rectangular black item. So that's a bummer. I'm looking at the ground, not the one. We are just gonna go ahead and head this way and just try to retrace my steps. Ooh, it's looking all foggy now with the rain though. Isn't that pretty? No sign of it yet. Yeah, what's hard is like I said, I when I was walking, I, I kind of was like somewhere in here, right? On this part. But I don't know exactly where. And the whole distance of that, it's like, yeah, I could have been like five feet to the left or right. So I'm, I'm, I think I'm kind of catching it all with my eyes, but I don't know. I guess I can still walk back and look again that way. Well, I haven't found it yet. I walked all the way back to our filming spots and now I'm, you know, backtracking towards the truck. I'm actually a little surprised. I don't know why. I guess I thought I would just see it laying here somewhere. I did not find it. I think I'm gonna just have to count it as lost. So I think what I'll probably do is take a new video card and come out here tomorrow and refilm the nature b-roll with what's left of the leaves. <laughs> Definitely a lot more got lost today. So and it's like, yeah, it's still raining. It's almost snowing actually. The flakes, you know, it's, it's technically Quiet. 
that is the sound of the falling of snow. So, um, yeah, that's a bummer. That is definitely a bummer. I really kind of did think I was going to find it. Just like I found my phone a few months ago <laughs> when I had to do the same thing that I just did. Uh, but I did find it kind of right where I was hoping to find it. It had like fallen out of my backpack and I, I was just thinking in my mind like what could have happened? But in this case I was walking a fair distance and I never, yeah, never saw it. You know what? It's okay though because I'm always looking for things to do with my son. You know, just quality things to do together. As they get older it gets a little harder to find things to do with them, you know? So we take walks a lot but also taking taking like a nice, you know, longer drive. Sorry it's so bumpy. I'm on a super bumpy dirt road right now. I probably should wait to record this. Sorry. Didn't mean to make you nauseous. Um, but yeah, I think I'll just take a nice little drive with him. We'll have time to talk and catch up. And, you know, maybe I'll get better B-roll in the first time. So I think that's my plan. <laughs> some reinforcements hey <laughs> two pairs of eyes yep. and if not we will retake the b-roll with that right there That road is actually about to be closed for the winter or the next few weeks here and then it's gonna get buried under six or seven feet of snow probably and it's just going to the electronic grave or actually it's like a natural grave except it's electronic I don't know anyway it's gone for good but at least I did get what I needed to get so we had a nice drive and a nice time together so all right I'm over here <laughs> Bye! Thanks for watching! Four feet on the stripes in the yellow bed.